So are you thinking of buying a Fear of God essential hoodie and you're not quite sure about the size or the fit? Well, you've come to the right place. Perfect. Hello there broskies, Erkin here, back again. And if you're new to the channel, I do unboxings and sneaker reviews and the odd clothing pickup as well. And on today's video, we are having a look at the light heather oatmeal colorway to the Fear of God Essentials hoodie. First things first, we are gonna pull up the box. And it's a pretty nice package by End. Shout out to End. They came through with the restock, which I really, really am happy about. Okay, okay, this is rather posh. Not bad. Now I'm gonna say unbag this because normally with trainers you unbox them, but this is obviously a hoodie. Look at this baby. Look at this bad boy. Do you know what? <sighs> This bag alone is just sensational. I haven't even got to the hoodie yet. Whoa, mamma mia. So you got a little Ziploc here. Just gonna, oh, that sound. Can the mic pick that up? Sensational scenes, Jeff. Now, like I've said, I have got the light Heather oatmeal colorway. The one I really wanted was the Heather oatmeal. And I know the names can get a bit confusing, but let's just say the Heather oatmeal was a bit more gray rather than this creamy colorway. Now reading the tag, it actually reads large 20% polyester and 80% cotton. So you already know this is a very heavy hoodie, but very quality in terms of its feel. Now it's actually pretty crazy in terms of washing it. It does say hand wash only. Only, and it says to wash it with likewise colors. So it's a bit of a risky one sticking it in the washing machine, but sticking it in a tumble dryer for me is a no-go because if you don't hang dry this hoodie, I can see the lettering falling off pretty easily. So we are gonna slide over, give some space over to the fit and how it looks on me. Now I've actually picked up a large because I like it very baggy. Now granted other videos and people that I've spoken to about the hoodies have already said they come up big anyway. But for me, how I like my hoodie, I like it really oversized and boxy. I think I could have got away with a medium, but the large, I just like the fit of it. Me being five foot 11 and around about 90 kg, you can kind of get the gist of how it fits me and my body type. I have sort of broad shoulders, so it does carry well in terms of this style hoodie. In terms of what sizing you would want to get, it all depends on how you like to wear them and how fitted you like. It. For me, this was a perfect size. I'm normally a large anyway, so I stuck to my normal sizing. But if you do like your hoodies a bit more snug and a bit more fitted, I would say go one size down. And I know it's pretty hard to try these on before you buy, but just take my word for it. Me personally, I went for my normal size because I like that big baggy look. Now a few things I really did like on this Essentials hoodie. Of course, we've got the Essentials branding on the chest, but also we've got the reflective writing on the left arm. The only thing thing my OCD is really hating at the moment is this essentials tag on the hoodie. This is not even straight. Can you see? Of course it's upside down, but that's not the problem. The way they've stitched this in, it's not even straight. Now, of course, every brand and every set of clothing, trainers, sneakers, whichever you're buying, is always gonna have a slight quality control issue. But these being so simple in terms of its design, there's not much to mess up. But of course, maybe it's just a one-off. It's just my luck, I don't know. Now these did retail over here in the UK on end anyways for 120 pounds. Now, according to StockX, the resale prices for this colorway isn't even that bad. It's pretty much what I've paid. But obviously after shipping, processing and whatnot, it's just a little bit over retail for what I paid anyway. Now I've given a little bonus in terms of what trainers you could actually pull off with this colorway. And I've got a few in the locker that really look good with this hoodie. Now I am actually wearing the Jack Jones cargo pants and it's in a khaki green, so I will leave it linked down below. And obviously at the time of recording this video, whilst it's in stock, you can grab those. But it's sort of a similar colorway I would rock anyway, either a black black cargo pant or even a khaki one. Because those colors sort of make the hoodie really boom, it's got that sort of creamy gray and sort of sail color to it. Now in terms of the sneakers, I would rock these with. Of course, the first one had to be these Jordan 1 Dark Mockers. These color palettes just go so well to 
together. So a couple other trainers that would really make this hoodie pop, in my opinion. I've gone for the Nike Air Force One Orange. Now I know it's not the most conventional color, but it really does pop with the hoodie and of course the khaki cargos. Now next up is the Nike Air Max 95 Era. Because this colorway is primarily sale, it really does pop with the hoodie as well. But the slight accents of color such as the lacing and the overlays, it really does accent the hoodie and the pants well. Now a couple more left is of course the Nike Air Max 90 in the infrared or radiant red, whichever you wanna call it. The white accents and of course that radiant red just pops so much with a simple outfit like this. And last on the list, something a bit more colorful but something also very simple is the Jordan 1 mid red toe. That noble red or burgundy accents, whichever you like to call it, really does pop with this outfit. It does complement this light heather oatmeal colorway very nicely. And broskies, you're gonna have to forgive my dancing. I had a lot of music on and I was feeling the vibes, so you gotta excuse it. And this is just an idea in terms of the outfits and trainers you could get away with with this colorway. Put it down below which trainers or outfits you could rock with this hoodie. But anyways, broskies, something new, something refreshing to the channel. If you do wanna see more of these sort of videos in terms of clothing pickups and reviews then leave it down below and of course don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and broskies until the next episode take care